What is up, bros? My name is Ryan45678, and welcome back to my summer car. Last time we got the engine built. I'm pretty sure I'm missing nothing. If I am, I will find out at some point. But anyway, what we're going to do this time is, I think, we're going to work on the suspension of the car, getting that all put together. Uh, and if we have time, we'll mount the engine in the car. Uh, I don't know. We'll see see what we can get without the engine in first because it's kind of hard to get working in there whenever the engine's in the way stuff so a lot of the stuff can go in before the engine so but anyways yeah before we get started don't forget to leave a like on the video if you end up enjoying it would be much appreciated and yes yes of course yeah, uh, subscribe to Squasky Bros for more gameplay commentary. And as always, if you want to support the channel, there are uh, affiliate links in the description below to places like Amazon and Humble Bundle. Purchases through those links will help support the channel. So, um, first things first, let me just really quick move all these parts into position so that we don't have, uh, have to go back and forth right here. I'll be right back. Alright, this glorious mess is much better than it was even though it may not look like it but I've got everything sorted basically from front to back where it needs to go uh, the rear suspension the front suspension it's kind of all in piles this is how I would probably do it in real life although bolts and stuff would be separated as well these aren't they're not represented until you put parts on in the game but anyway so got that the subframe steering stuff uh, as well as the steering stuff that goes on each side that separate and the extra parts that I can put in the engine bay before the engine uh, these things are separated out as well so let's go ahead and get started I think easiest would be the back suspension maybe I, I might be wrong I'm probably totally wrong but anyway we're gonna I think the first thing we put in is a trail arm right right I don't know we might have to jack the car up. I'm not really sure about that. I find the speed that he moves with the jack very accurate to real life because these things are freaking heavy. The update was supposed to save it to where, uh, or keep it to where the, the car would move less when it was on the jack. So hopefully that's true because there are no jack stands in this game. And I mean, not that that has anything to do with it, but because uh, the car shouldn't slide off the jack because I had it blocked before. And it certainly shouldn't move. It should be scraping on the body to keep it the way it is right now on the front. So we should be fine. There should be enough friction from the metal on concrete action uh, to do it. Oh, there we go. We had it right there. I had it backwards. Anyway, let's grab the toolbox. And once again, I'm going to try to keep as much of this content in as possible for the entire build process. Let's try let's let's start from the bottom. Now we're here. It's not the smallest size. This size. Cause this I mean this is like the real process. I mean it's sim similar to real life, although ideally you would know beforehand, but let's see. I'm gonna laugh again if it's none of these. Probably is none of these. Yeah. Or I just can't get a grip on it because it's dumb. So that's that's something that needs to be fixed in this game. I didn't pay fourteen dollars to like go through all these options only to find out that it didn't take and it, I don't know what size it is at all. So you know, you know what I'm saying? There's no good way to do this. You just have. To, I mean, unless. Like I said, I'm not using a, a guide or anything either, so unless you are, then you're going to have to do this. And it's just not working. Oh, there's one. Oh, because it's the, the bolt and not the nut. If this was real life, you'd be tightening both, but that's okay. I uh, can't really represent that. Anyway. Uh, that's both of these bolts. Pretty sure that's the only bolts that this thing has. Yeah, as far as I can tell. 
So what we need to do before we do anything else, put the spring on. Right? Yep, yep, had it, had it. There we go, because if you forget that and then put the strut, you will have, uh, you will, it's not going to go well, trust me. You'll spend your time trying to figure out where it goes, and it will be a lot of wasted time and effort. So now let me know what size this is, it takes about two seconds. There we go, and grab the spring. See, this is why I wanted to move everything. I don't have to go grab it. I don't have to remove anything from there while I'm working on it. I can just do it all at once. And uh, and that way I don't forget anything either, because if, if, if I go through all the parts, they're all gone. They've all been put somewhere, so there's no way I can forget anything. Let's see, I don't remember which way this goes, but it should go here somewhere. Right. I mean, I know it's. I know this is a a rear piece. It was really picky about where it goes, if I remember right. Yep, had it, had it. So, up oh, there we go. Uh, put this one on as well. Before, I, uh, yep, there we go, and we'll figure out what size it is really quick. or where the bolts are, honestly. Let's see. It's this one. It's gonna be a... Oh, it's the same size. How convenient. That never happens. Oh, it's raining. Oh, well. This guy can take it. He doesn't care. Okay. There's the one on, on top. And it's almost a guarantee that the bottom one's not gonna be the same. If it's even there. Yeah, it's there. It's there. I see it. No, it's, it looks smaller, but I could be wrong. Uh, a little bit smaller. A little bit closer. A little bit smaller. Uh, nope, not that one. If I can't... if. if this doesn't work. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I was about to say, I'm going to have to jack up the car up a little bit more if it doesn't work. But we got it, so it doesn't matter. You know, it's kind of funny. I built this car twice already, albeit before this update. So I have a pretty high confidence level that it's gonna go well, this build I mean. I know where pretty much all the trouble spots are. Now that I say that, it's gonna go awful. But anyway, I know where everything goes. I mean, it's it's kinda hard to mess up this because it's like every piece from here is gone, like I said before. There we go, and you got the giant one bolt at the end, which is probably not the biggest one. Let's see. Hey, second biggest. I oh, yeah, another thing I was thinking of besides all that was uh, the achievements in this game. There's a ridiculous number. And they don't tell you how to get them. I would have to look up uh, somewhere else other than Steam to see what you actually have to do to get the achievements. Uh, one of them says something about peeing in your mouth. And I tried it earlier. It didn't work. So maybe when we get enough P, we'll try it again? I don't know. It sounds sounds dumb and ridiculous, but that's what this game is. It's dumb and ridiculous. So anyway, let's see what we got next. We got the entire rear suspension basically done. Double check, yep. So we're going to let the jack down. And we're going to take it to the front. And we're going to do the front suspension, and then we'll do the subframe and all the other pieces that go inside. So the key to jacking this car up is obviously glitching through as many things as possible, including on the ground and the car itself. Oh, nope. Yeah, okay, that's not going to work, so let's try single side. Oh yeah, I never tried the side. 
actual side of the car jacking that up. It's probably not really necessary, but you know, might as well do it. Just, just, just cuz. Alright, so I think the first thing that goes in here is the wishbone. Right? I might be wrong. No, I'm probably, I'm probably wrong. Or it actually might be this way, I think. Yeah, we might actually need the engine in here for that. I don't know. You know, I think we might because the uh, spindle and all that, the half shafts, they go to the engine. Funny that I say that because I wonder if this thing would let me put them on right now. Is it going to let me do it? Uh, doesn't look like it. Anyway, let's uh, pretend that never happened. <laughs> We'll go ahead and uh, get get going with the innards of the engine bay. So we get the uh, sub. Oh, the subframe. Maybe that's what we need. I think. Yeah, that's definitely what we needed. I'm a dum dum. Forgot about the subframe. It's like what? There's nothing to even bolt to, and then you look at it, and you're like, oh, that's the subframe. That's what you needed. You big old dummy. This one I remember being a pain. Let's see. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. No, it keeps trying to get the towing hook. And I don't want that. It's got to go somehow. Oh, we're actually moving the car. It's not what I want at all. Of course, it's not going to move the other way. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, let's try facing the other way. Oh, there we go. That was right. Okay, we got it. Let's hop in here. This might not be the best way to do it, but let's try. Let's see where we got the bolts. Uh, I don't even see them, man. I do not. I do not see bolts right now. Oh, there's one. Let's test this one. It's got to be pretty big, right? So let's start big and go small. So the small side of things. like the best most efficient way I, I can do it how to pick how to size bolts 2018 best way 100% no other way will do Let's see I know there's at least one on this side too right yep there's probably four if not three I don't know I know there's three motor mounts man if only actual car oh there we go if only actual stuff in cars was this easy. I mean, I guess it's one thing, too, to have the engine out already. Or not in in the first place, but... I, I did a motor mount on one of our vehicles recently, and it was a freaking pain to get to. I'm surprised, honestly, that I was even able to do it. Because I had to get a... I, I saw somebody do it in a video, otherwise I wouldn't even have tried. But... I took, like, a 20 to 30 inch extension. I think it was, like, 20... 24 inches and one one bolt because of things in the way at the top needed like 30 something inches uh, It was it was long just to be able to get to the bolt and Some of them had to be deep socket the others had to be uh, Had to be shallow socket because of again things in the way Come on wishbone I Wish I wish I wish It's upside down, but that usually doesn't matter uh, but Yeah, I finally got it it took a I really didn't have a long enough ratchet and breaker bar, uh, or leverage pipe or whatever. So it, they, when they broke loose, they broke loose, but uh, this is supposed to go here. What the heck? Let's try the other one. But yeah, that was an experience. The next motor mount that I'm doing on that car, oh, oh, oh there we go, is going to be way easier because it's at the top. Uh, the, the one I did already was at the bottom, back, the back towards the bottom. So just imagine that. That's That was hard. <laughs> this one's at the front. Uh, it's going to be easy to get to. It's like literally right there, all the bolts. You could probably get to it without an extension. Some of them might need a swivel just because of the way they're positioned, but uh, it's going to be so much easier. Uh, but anyway, if you want to see stuff like that, I have a second channel. It's called Ryan45678. I'll, I'll link it in the description. 
one guess where I got that name. But <laughs> I do stuff like that, projects on cars, not projects per se, on cars, but I would like to in the future, but that's not going to be for a while. And um, so I guess maintenance, things like that, there we go. Uh, as well as I've got a project bike that I did from scratch, I took an edger engine and I like a two horsepower Briggs and Stratton horizontal shaft so we could drive a chain to a wheel it's basically a dirt bike and it's it's pretty cool it's not done it needs uh, I keep thinking it's close to being done but the more I think about it it actually needs more stuff so uh, the things now right now that I need are chain tensioners which I need to figure out how to put those on because obviously it's custom made there's no way to just slap those on I have to figure that out. Let's put the steering rack in. Uh, huh, huh, there we go. Let's hope it's the same size. And it's not. Dub 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 dub. It's a guess. Anybody's guess is which, which way we go on it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I went back up oh, there we go it's the right size I think I went backwards from what I was doing maybe not but anyway get that in yeah I don't know it's 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 kind of hard to say too whether this is like accurate to real life and how you would do things because a lot of this you can do with things in the car already that you either wouldn't have to wouldn't be able to do in real life or would be difficult to do like for example, the engine, you can take the engine and if I if there are bolts in it this size like this one, I could just I could just go in and mess with those. You can't do that. You'd have to take parts off to do that in real life. But anyway, let's see. Uh, spindle I think is next. I might be wrong. Let's see if we can put the strut on. It's upside down, I know, but I don't think it'll let us without the spindle, so let's put the spindle. There we go. Do the other spindle. There we go. And we gotta figure out what size it is. The age old game. Let's see, and make sure we get the right bolt too, because there is one. I think it's on the spindle to adjust the the straightness of the wheels and that one spins infinitely you don't want that one I think this one's a pretty big bolt too and I believe it is right in the middle of course I can't see it uh, right I don't know yeah we broke the other spindle off but that's okay Ah, hello, hello, hello. Is it Grandma? Oh, it's you. Okay, anyway, we got some jobs, so that's good. That didn't work for, for the Jack. Ha, <laughs> get it? Because Jack, yeah, that's not funny. Disc brake. Maybe we need the disc brake first? I don't know. No, I don't remember. Let's see if we can put the strut on. No. So there's some bolt on there that I, I can't see that I'm missing. Oh, oh, okay, the... I know what it is. It's the half shaft. So we do need, uh... We do, we do, we do. Except, let's see. I could have swore there's a bolt at the bottom. I need this jack to jack up this car right now. So I can see under there, because otherwise I can't see crap. Alright, there's gotta be a bolt. I swear. Alright, there we go. We're at the top of the jack travel and accomplished basically nothing. So, let's see if we can find this bolt once and for all. Oh, pff, screwed it up. Dang it. I swear there's a bolt here. 
But where? I don't know. It's like at the bottom. I'm pretty sure. Pretty darn sure. Oh, there it is. There it is. I found it. I don't don't know how I missed it before. But it's uh, that one. The size, anyway. And that's the only one, I think. It's gotta be. Alright, other side. Oh, I didn't actually break it off. Good. Oh, wait. There's another one. Or is that the same one? I don't know. Is that one? There's two. No. It's the same bolt that looks different from three different angles. It's so weird. I don't even know, man. It's just one bolt. Anyway, we got it. We got it. Uh, crisis averted. Now we can put the strut on, I think. I think, I think, I think. Yep, strut goes there. Obviously, if this was real life, you wouldn't want to leave that thing sitting there. You would, you would put, you would have had, probably had the car up on blocks or jack stands. But this is just a video game, so it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, let's find out what size that is. It's pretty small, I believe. At least the top one is. Let's, uh, let's move this. So we can have, oh, there we go, perfect. Nailed it. Anyway, try that. I swear this game is so inconsistent sometimes. Because these look small. But you know, they're gonna be the biggest bolts in the freaking game. Okay, they're not that bad, but they're way bigger than they look. There's only three. That and this side. Okay. There we got those. Now we figure out what size the bottom is. It's probably not the same. Uh, nope, of course not. It never is. Low. Watch, it's gonna be bigger than the bottom. Yep. Uh, no, it's actually one size smaller. I could have just gone down. But you never know. The one time you go down the list instead of up, it's gonna be above you. So anyway, we got those two. Make sure there's no more. One. Oh, there is one more. Good thing I checked. There's two more. There's four of them. How do I get them, though? They won't go. <sighs> I'll have to get them from the inside. Don't let me forget, guys. Remind me if I forget. But I promise I won't. So we got these two. These two. See, this is when not having the engine in comes in very handy. And also being able to glitch through walls comes in very handy as well. Why are these so hard to get to? Like, I'm right there. Why are they not going? There we go. Oh, I'm tired. I didn't know that. Anyway, we're going to have to finish this because we're really thirsty and hungry, too. I kind of wanted the phone to kill us, actually. Because I was just curious to see what happens. And we get an achievement for it. If you pick up the phone when, it was, when it's raining, like it was earlier. And then you die, you get an achievement. Isn't it great? You get, achievement, you get achievements for dying. Okay, so we got that. Now it's time to go to bed. This guy's tired. And if he dies in his sleep of hunger and thirst, it don't matter because he's right here. Oh no, it's late. What the heck? And the, it wasn't even the phone either. Huh. Let's try it. Let's try it. It's not working, is it? Nah. Uh, I've tried it before. Ooh, I want to test something. Your P stream kind of dwindles right now. 
What happens if I get more P before it ends? Like right now, will it dribble continuously forever? Or will it go back to a, a stream? It dribbles. I found a bug. Not a very important one, but a bug nonetheless. Let's let's just get really thirsty. I mean really really PE. <laughs> so we can dribble all day long. This is such a stupid thing to do, but I don't know why it's so much fun. I just love breaking the game. There we go. Slowly let the pee out. So bad, man. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's dark too. That sucks. Let's see about getting the disc brakes on. I think that's what goes next. Yep. Disc brakes. Had it on backwards. My bad. Not that it matters. Anyway. Let's see. Let's find out what size. It's probably a big one. It's not going to be the biggest, though. Oh, wait. I was going to the wrong spot. My bad. I was going to the where the wheels... Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, it's the second largest. I got it right the first time. But anyway, I was going to the... To the, the bolts for the wheels. Okay. There we go. Oh look, our P is almost gone. Yay. All right. Let's see. There was one of these things that I remember. You had to do some other thing before you did the other thing. And I don't remember what it was. It might have been the steering rod. Let's see. There we go. Okay, that's that. So that's fine. Get the next steering rod. Oh, oh. Had it. Had it. Up. Oh, there we go. Let's figure out size. Okay, so this one is the one that adjusts the straightness of the wheels. I'm going to put it back because... Or I don't know. I'm going to line it up. No, I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother because... Uh, it's an exact thing, and I don't want to mess it up. See, this looks pretty big. It's not that big. Why does it keep crashing? It's this game's always done that. It's, I think you, I think I am of the opinion that he does that on purpose at random just to mess with you. Either that or it's a bug, and I don't know which. Okay, let's uh. This side has. This side doesn't have any bolts at all, looks like. Because really all it does is slide into the DMs. Ah, uh, just kidding. That's lame. Anyway, steering column. While we're at it, might as well put this in. Oh gosh. Uh, hello, hello. There we go. Alright, let's check it out. We got some sizes. It's very specific, I know. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, let's see what we got here, Doc. Looks like we got a bolt. It's not that size. Ain't that size. Ain't this size either. Sure as heck ain't that one. I tell you ain't that one. Sure ain't that one either. It's probably gonna be the biggest one, why don't you bet? What the heck? Can't be that big. See, that's this is the kind of thing that I don't like about this game right now. Or at all, ever. Cause that bolt is literally right there. It should be giving the should be letting me do it. But it ain't. Sucks. Ah, okay. There we go. I don't know why I didn't take it before. But anyway, we got that one bolt. We should have more, right? Should be one at the bottom. Yeah. One at the bottom. There we go. I think that's it. Okay, the steering thing. 
Ugh, done. Done with that. And we got... Last thing to do is half shafts. Which I think go this way. I want to say, I'm not sure, I don't remember. I'm probably wrong. I usually am. It's probably going to have to go before the brakes, I'm guessing, is what I think. So let's go ahead and take those off for now and see what happens. So I think you can do this. Right? These, I remember these were a real, real pain. Even when the engine was there, these were almost impossible to get in. Let's try from the inside. It's an inside job, just like 08. Just kidding, 9-11 was not an inside job. If you think it was, start a flame war in the comments. I don't care. Oh, why Why are you not dropping in? Anyway, let's, uh, let's forget it for now. They'll be here. I'll take the brakes off just so we don't forget because... Never forget. Sorry. <laughs> there. Uh, try one more time. It's not gonna work, I know, but might as well try. Nope, not gonna work. Anyway, next uh, we get some of these internals in the uh, Radiata master cylinders. Get these put in. These these are hard to find bolts if you're if you don't have a lot of room to work with. So it's kind of nice to have uh, room to work with, honestly. This goes about right here. Yep. There we go. Next one. There we go. Uh, we'll find out what size these are. Just like everything else. Try a small size. It's pretty small if I remember right. Gotta be one of these. There we go. Why am I moving? Am I moving or is this car moving? I think the car's moving. And I don't know why. <laughs> okay, we got these done. And I think there's. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. Number two on that one. <laughs> I said number two. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. We got it. Got all those set. Now, we do the linings. Those go basically along the side of the thing. Like so. And, I know it's going to complicate it by having two, so I'm going gonna, gonna to leave it out which way to put it so you need to obviously tighten the bolt here first figure out what size it is first as always it's probably a little bigger actually but anyway I'm gonna try them all gotta try them all oh smaller there we go yeah see if I hadn't if I hadn't known that I would have just assumed that it was okay and left it but it's because I've done this twice already. I'm like, yeah, you know, there's a bolt there. Don't want to miss that one. And, uh, oh yeah, because I guess I didn't put this one on yet, so it's fine. Gotta. Don't have to tighten that. That's weird. Uh, there's a bolt on this end that we'll have to tighten. So I won't forget that. Hopefully. Uh, if I do, again, remind me, please, because I don't want to forget. I had it, I had it, I had it, I was so close. There we go. Okay, we got this. We got this, guys. We're doing good. We're doing great, man. Okay, now we have this. See, this is so much easier because you can actually see. You're not blocked by engine parts that you can't see. Nothing like that. Don't forget this one. Man, why would why is this hydraulic? 
normally a emergency brake because that's what that one is it's a mechanical like a cable even so I don't know why this would be hydraulic maybe it is in real life I don't know I could tighten this one see another thing about this game it's so like complicated in some aspects like this every single nut in the line of every single line there is has to be tightened the stuff like I mean there's other stuff that isn't that complicated that normally is in real life like the car the carburetor you just slap it on there that's that's not that easy in real life Let's see I think we're good right we're gonna have to figure out this because I think you might have to tighten this nut looks tightenable Okay, I take back what I said. It's not tightenable. Anyway, we got everything. All this done, I think. Uh, we just have to remember to tighten the lines up at the end once we get them. Once we get it, the things they go to in place. Uh, what else? Fuel strainer, I think, just goes somewhere along here. I don't know. I might be wrong. Because it wouldn't fit directly on the engine. So, fuel filter's got to go somewhere in here. Right. Yeah, we'll see. We'll have to figure it out later, I guess. Anyway, we'll just leave it conspicuously there so we know. We got the radiator. Uh, oh, that has a wiring too. That's cool. That's a new thing, if you didn't know that. There's wiring for everything. Like electrical wiring. Yay! How fun is that going to be? Anyway, let's uh, see if we can get this radiator on. Oh, jeez. Not like that. <laughs> anyway, let's try bolts. Wrenches, I mean. Where are the bolts? There they are. It's got to be like halfway in between. Yeah, they're, oh, it's actually pretty small. There we go. And these two, these two are hard to get to. Oh, there we go. Like five feet away too. Man. Okay, that's the radiator. All right, we got that. And what else? Fuel strainer can't do that stuff we can't do. We could do the internals, like the inside. But we could also wait. I don't know. That could get complicated, though. So, I think we should leave it for another episode. Because we've done enough. We've done plenty of stuff. So, yeah. Don't smoke, kids. Yeah, so that's that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you end up enjoying it. Subscribe to Squawsky Bros for more gameplay commentary. And as always, there are affiliate links in the description below. And... I will see you guys later. We'll work on the either the inside. I think we'll mount the engine next time. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.